calculating the mean per group. Okay, so in this lesson, I will calculate for the mean of the group data. So, pag sinabi natin group data, the numerical values are grouped into intervals. So, the formula for calculating the mean will be mean is equal to summation of fx over n. And m, so pertains to mean, then our letter f pertains to the frequency. So x is the class mark and also known as the midpoint. And we have n, it pertains to the total frequency. Okay, so again, the formula for calculating the mean for group data is m is equal to summation of fx over n. Okay, so example. So we have table number one. Scores of 30 students in a 20 item quiz in mathematics. So the scores are given in interval. So we have 16 to 20. And 12 students got the score of 16 to 20. 11 to 15. So 9 students have the score of 11 to 15. Then the score of 4 students is 6 to 10, and 5 students is 1 to 5. So we have the scores, and we have the frequency. So as we go back, the formula, so we need to have a summation of fx over n. So kailangan natin ng summation of fx over n. Summation of fx over n, so let's go back with our data. So we have the score, so let's uh, represent uh, the score with the variable i that pertains to class interval. And frequency will be represented by f, and we will add two columns. So first, we will have the column of x, which pertains to midpoint, and the column of fx that pertains to the product of the frequency times midpoint. So, i-multiply natin yung frequency dun sa midpoint na makukuha natin. So, paano kinukuha yung midpoint? Para makuha yung midpoint, so, kailangan natin i-add yung 16 saka yung 20. So, 16 plus 20 and then divided by 2. So, kukunin natin yung gitna sa pagitan ng 16 and 20. Kaya, tinawag na midpoint or class mark. Okay. So, the formula will be lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. So, yung 16 yung lower limit, yung 20 yung upper limit, which means that yung labing dalawang sudyante na to, ang score nila ay 16 hanggang 20. So, hindi mas mababa sa 16, hindi mas mataas sa 20. So, let's have the midpoint of the first interval, 16 to 20. So, that will be 16 plus 20 divided by 2. So, that will be 36 divided by 2. So, that is 18. Second, 11 plus 15. 26 divided by 2. We have 13. 6 plus 10. 16 divided by 2. 8. 1 plus 5. 6 divided by 2. We have 3. So, the midpoint are 18, 13, 8, and 3. And then, we will have the fourth column. So, we will fill up the fourth column. And that will be... Uh, f times x so f multiplied to x so 12 times 18 that is equal to 216 9 times 13 equals 117 or 117 4 times 8 we have 32 and 5 times 3 we have 15 okay so again ang unang gagawin will add 2 columns so column ng x ah, column ni fx so next we will go back with the formula so summation of fx over n so we will get now the summation of fx so ito total natin yung ating uh, fx column so ang fx column natin will be 216 plus 117 plus 32 plus 15 we have a total of 380 and then kailangan natin ang value for n ito total naman natin yung frequency to get the value of n and that's 30 and 
also given naman yun in the description of our table. So, scores of 30 students. So, ilang studyante natin, we have 30. So, 12 plus 9 plus 4 plus 5, we have 30. So, substitute 380 and 30 in our formula. So, that will be 380 divided by 30. And, 380 divided by 30 is 12.67. So, therefore, the mean is 12.67. Okay, so let's have the second table. So, table number 2, scores of 40 students in a 30-item quiz in science. So, 40 students, 30-item quiz. So, the interval are 27 to 30, 23 to 26, 19 to 22, 15 to 18, 11 to 14. So, that will be our interval. And the frequency are 15, 7, 12, 4, and 2. So, again, so what? That's the frequency indicate. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung pitong sudyante, meron silang score na either 23, 24, 25, or 26. Yung dalawang sudyante, nakascore siya ng pasok sa 11 to 14. Yung labing lima, 27 to 30, and so on. So, again, uh, first thing to do is to add two columns. So, kailangan natin ng dalawang column, the column of x and the column of fx. So, fill out na sila. So, paano nakuha ang 28.5? So, nakuha yan by adding 27 plus 30 divided by 2. So, that is 28.5. Then, 24.5 is 23 plus 26 divided by 2, 24.5. 19 plus 22 so that is 41 divided by 2 20.5 15 plus 18 so we have 33 divided by 2 16.5 11 plus 14 26 divided by 2 or sorry 25 11 plus 14 25 divided by 2 so that will be 12.5 and then so fx column naman. So, paano naman nakuha ang fx column? So, multiply f times x. So, we have 15 times 28.5, 427.5, 7 times 24.5, 171.5, 12 times 20.5, 246, 4 times 16.5, 66, 2 times 12.5, 25. And then, let's have the summation of fx column. So, the summation of fx is 936. And then, let's have the summation of the frequency. So, that will be represented, represented by the variable n. So, we have 40. Then, the formula is summation of fx over n. So, summation of fx is 936 divided by n, which is 40. So, n is 40. So, divide. The answer is 23. So, therefore, the mean of the given data is 23.4. Okay, so let's have the third one. So, table number 3, scores of 24 students in a 20-item quiz in English. So, 24 students, 20-item quiz. So, the interval are 16 to 20, then we have the frequency of 8. 11 to 15, frequency of 12, 6 to 10, frequency of 1, 1 to 5, frequency of 3. So, let's review the steps in calculating for the mean of group data. So, step number 1, we have, we need to add two columns in our distribution table. So, the x column and the fx column. Then, step number 2, get the summation of fx. Step number 3, determine the value of n. And the value of n is equal to the, to the total frequency. Then, solve for the mean using m is equal to summation of fx over n. So, for table number 3, this will be left for you to do. So, please comment on the comment box the value of our mean for table number 3. And that will be all. Have a nice day.